Good evening to everyone. Welcome to our study. And our study this evening is about the educational foundation of Adventist Health Ministry. To begin with, allow me to share with you the uh, from the famous Greek philosopher. This is Aristotle. According to this man, we are what we repeatedly do. Help then is not an ark, but a habit. According to this quotation, health has something to do with our habit and habit to our health. Meaning, good habit means good health or healthy life. Bad habit means sickness and curse. If this is the case, then I think it is very important for us to know something about the word habit. What is habit? According to the dictionary, habit is our regular practice wired deep into our brain and often hard to give up. Meaning, this is the pattern, the pattern of our behavior. Done on a regular basis, acquired through frequent repetition. This is our regular practices. And this is the very core meaning of habit. And you know what? There is one problem related to this habit. That is, it is hard to give up, most especially the bad habit. It's hard to give up. Such as consuming much time on TV and internet, eating between meals, having little or no breakfast, going to bed late because of work or leisure, less intake of water but more on sugary drinks and alcohol, high intake of salt, processed food, smoking, lack of physical activities and exercise, these bad habits will lead us to sickness such as diabetes, high blood pressure, stroke, heart disease, cancer. These are chronic diseases and you know what? It could be prevented because it depends upon our choices and our habit. Many people are aware of these things that these bad habits will lead them to sickness. From the education, from the educated and very professional people down to the very common people, they are aware of these things. They have much knowledge about these things. Yet they continue to engage and practice these bad habits. Although many of them want to, to be free from these bad habits. They want to change these bad habits into good habits. But this change, this change is not easy. This change is not easy. Why does this change is not easy to achieve? Because habit is are shaped by culture and they are linked to emotional component. That's why knowledge and authority are insufficient to produce change. Knowledge and authority are insufficient to produce change. From this perspective, from this context, from this concern, then education will come in. According to Nelson Mandela, former president of South Africa, education is the most powerful weapon which we can use to change the world, according to Nelson Mandela. Education is very important, a very significant force, tool, a very tremendous tool and force to change a person and to eliminate these bad habits. Actually, education can transform these bad habits into good habits. And that's why we Seventh-day Adventists, as a whole church, a universal church, we are convinced indeed that education could bring changes and could change people. Education changes. We accept this slogan and notion. Education changes. That's the very reason, that's why, this is the very reason why Adventist Health Ministry and Message is endorsing and advocating, advocating education, most especially the holistic education. Because holistic education aims not only to change knowledge, this is a holistic education, aims not only to change knowledge, but to change attitude, beliefs, and behavior. 
You know what, my friend? Another important thing in our health ministry is, that, is, is this. Our Adventist health ministry believe and fully convinced that change is easier, education accompanied by good personal jewelry repairing to our lifestyle as Seventh-day Adventists. Huh? Repairing to our example before other people accompanied by personal jury change is easier according to our stand our Adventist Health Ministry change is much easier oh, I would like to underscore this one change is much easier when we ask divine intervention from God so this is the most in three important things education accompanied by good personal jury our lifestyle example and God's intervention, then change is much easier and possible. Now, we as a Seventh-day Adventist, you know what? We are, we as a Seventh-day Adventist, we are commissioned to educate people how to break free from these bad habits. Our advocacy is to teach and educate people. To teach and educate people. The true education, why? Why we call this one true education? Because it aims not only to develop the physical, the mental, and the social aspect of life. Most importantly, it aims to develop the spiritual, spiritual aspect of a person. This is the development that will lead us to worship and acknowledge the true Creator. And let me share with you these five simple steps to be free from bad habits. Number one, begin with a prayer. We have to admit and recognize that bad habit is a sin, a transgression to his law. We, because, and we have to accept because embracing of this bad habit, we are destroying God's temple, our body. And that's why we need to ask forgiveness from Him through an earnest prayer. The second Simple principle is that ask God's help to overcome it. God is always reminding us that His grace, His power, His strength are sufficient to overcome these bad habits or our weaknesses. The number three simple steps to overcome this bad habit is surround yourself with godly people. Seek godly people who could motivate and inspire us to win the battle we are fighting for. We must seek friends with a good kind of lifestyle. Those people who are not engaged themselves to this, to this kind of bad habits. Number four, replace it with a deeper joy. Set up an enjoyable plan to replace your bad habit into a good habit. Example, Instead of consuming more time on our TV and internet, we must engage ourselves in sports or exercise with, with our friends. We must replace it with a deeper joy. The number five, the last but not the least, be persistent and patient. When you start it, do not stop until you have completely changed for the better. These are the five simple steps of how to be free from bad, bad habits. And this is the advocacy of Adventist Health Ministry. Teaching and educating people pleasantly and intelligently. You know what? According to George Washington Carver, education is the key to unlock the golden door of freedom. Changes and freedom. You know, my friend, changes and freedom from bad habits are very possible through education. <clears throat> very possible through education. That's why if there is one best way to promote our Adventist health message in our church, and in the society, it is by education. It is by education. 
most especially our health education because it it aims is not just on gaining knowledge but on changing behavior effectively yes we fully believe this one education changes and these changes become much easier when it is accompanied by good personal theory and God's intervention. Again, let me remind you that education is included as one of the most significant and important foundation of our Adventist health ministry. Thank you. Good evening. May God bless us all this evening. Amen. Amen.